Gaming keyboards are a bit like a key. You use the right one and you could unlock any door. But use the wrong one and you'll find it harder to achieve the same result. This video will explain everything you need to know about gaming keyboards and regardless of whether you're brand new to PC gaming or been at it for years, I have a list of recommendations that should help you in your buying decision. There are three different types of keyboard and each use a different switch under each key to register your desired action. It's this switch that has the biggest impact on a way that a keyboard feels and how quick and responsive it can be in heated gaming scenarios. Now the most common are membrane keyboards and underneath every keycap you'll find a rubber dome. They're very much cheap and cheerful, but they're not the best for gaming, as they often require the key to be pressed all the way down before they send a command to the computer, and they feel just quite spongy in the process. Mechanical keyboards though are the choice of most gamers because their physical switches underneath every single key give you an increased level of feedback and feel and they can just make gaming not only a little bit easier but just more pleasurable. Key presses are that little bit snappier and there's a nice smooth transition from the top of the key all the way to the bottom. Each type of mechanical key switch will have its own individual characteristics though most can be described as clicky, tactile or linear. Tactile switches, such as Cherry MX Browns, have a bump as you press the key, which gives you a physical level of feedback that the key press has been registered, whereas linear switches, like Reds and Speeds, lack this feature, and as such they're slightly faster to use, which is great for gaming, but arguably slightly detrimental to typing. Cherry Blue and Razor switches, on the other hand, are what's known as clicky, with an audible click upon reaching the actuation point, or the point in which the key press is registered. This will help your typing, but the extra bit of force needed to activate and double press keys might put gamers off, in addition to the fact that, frankly, it's ridiculously loud. If you're looking at a laptop or a low profile keyboard, then chances are you'll be looking at a chiclet style keyboard. These have slim keys with a very small amount of travel, and they lack any sort of feedback other than bottoming out. They're great for typing on, but they lack any real substance for gaming scenarios. If you're looking at a gaming keyboard though, chances are you'll find some form of RGB lighting. Sorry, I don't know that. Shut up Alexa, why do this all the time? Chances are though, if you're looking at a gaming keyboard, you'll come across the latest innovation in the keyboard space. RGB lighting, and it won't do anything for your Fortnite survival, but it can make your desk look real pretty, but of course it should be noted that it will add a lot of extra cost to the keyboard. Now it's still quite new, but if you're looking at specifically a gaming keyboard, you can now get them in wireless flavours, which I know is incredible, right? I mean, you're going to have no wires. And if you're considering this, then you can find a full video that I've done about wired versus wireless peripherals in the top right hand corner of your screen. But enough of the information, it's time for the recommendations. And I've been reviewing all sorts of different peripherals for a very long time. If I haven't said what you're wanting me to say, then feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and I'll answer. So why haven't you tested this? It might be because I haven't tried it, or it might be because I simply didn't really like it. Starting at the budget end, I really like the Logitech G213, or 213. You can find this for around about £45 or $50, and while it's not mechanical, it is a step up versus your average keyboard with hybrid switches. It's fully equipped with media keys, RGB, and it does represent great value for money. But unfortunately, you do still get that slightly mushy membrane feel, but otherwise it's a sublime keyboard that I've happily clocked up hours upon hours of PUBG with. But if you do want to step into the mechanical world, but you don't want to spend a huge amount, then I'd advise checking out the Caller Master Master Keys range, as while they're not the most premium mechanical keyboards out there, they offer fantastic value for money. They come in different shapes and sizes, and you can save money by ditching RGB, if that's not your bag, and each keyboard is made from plastic, but it feels so strong and sturdy, and just very well put together. Performance is everything you'd expect from Cherry MX switches, and the overall gaming experience is excellent. My first ever mechanical keyboard was a much older version of the Pro M, and I can testify to its longevity six years later. If you're a gamer though, but you want a wireless keyboard, then I'd point you in the direction of the Corsair K63 wireless. 
It's a 10 keyless keyboard, which means you lose the number pad, but it works wirelessly without any real compromise. The result is a desk that looks super clean by day, but then comes to life at night thanks to the integrated blue LED lighting. The keyboard that I think is the best all-rounder though, and would be the only 5-star product in this lineup, is the Corsair K70 RGB Lux. It's exactly what a keyboard should be, well put together, well thought out, and damn good for gaming. The price is right where it should be for an RGB mechanical keyboard, and the software, RGB lighting, and media keys are all the best in the business. Simply put, if you want a feature complete mechanical keyboard without paying for features you probably don't need, this is it. If you're the creative type though, but you also play games, then here's a little curveball for you, the Logitech Craft. It's a chiclet style keyboard, and it's not cheap, but it is very big and it is very clever. Thanks to the contextual dial at the top left hand side, it can be used to control applications like the Adobe Suite pretty much like no other. And the result is a wireless keyboard that's not only fast and intuitive to use, but one that looks smart and is fantastic for typing up PC centric scripts. But what if money is no object and you want the best gaming keyboard, period? Well actually I think there are three things to choose from and all of them are actually very valid options. You could grab the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 as it's got a bank of macro keys, excellent performance and the lowest price out of these three. But it's not quite as premium to the touch as the others and it lacks any dedicated media controls. The Asus ROG Claymore on the other hand is also worth considering thanks to its striking looks and rather unique all metal design. It can be detached into a 10 keyless board if so desired too, but it has a little bit of play near the connection and it's let down by mediocre software. And then finally there's the Corsair K95 Platinum, a super expensive keyboard with a mighty thick connection cable. It's superbly bright and has probably the best RGB lighting on any keyboard I've ever used. It's also using the Cherry MX speed switches for the fastest possible reaction speed and it has the best software of the lot and also supplies volume dials and dedicated media keys. All three are valid options in their own right but my pick of the three would be the K95 Platinum due to my love of proper dedicated media control. So I think that's enough keyboards for one day and that's everything I need to talk about for now. If you've enjoyed this video then please hit that like button and if you want to check current pricing or actually purchase any of these products then I'll leave my links down in the description below for you. But a massive thank you for you guys for checking out this video. Do get subscribed if you want to see more videos just like this. A massive thank you to Asus ROG for sponsoring the channel as always. If you want to learn more about gaming mice or um, headsets, I'm running out of breath, top right hand corner, you know where to go. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.